Hey everyone, I leave for the Camino de Santiago in just a few days. I'm getting on my plane to go to London tomorrow and then I will make my way over the next few days to Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port. Actually, by the time you watch this, I will already be walking the Camino de Santiago. But I wanted to share with you exactly what I'm packing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna turn you around and I'm gonna start with my backpack. So my backpack for this trip is a 30 liter REI, um, I think it's called a Traverse. I've had this backpack for 10 years. It's been all over the world with me. This might be its last journey. It's kind of falling apart like it's got some duct tape over a hole here, but I really like this backpack. It's comfortable. I've used it for years and I figured if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, it does come complete with a rain pack cover right in this pocket. And then I made this modification. I put this um, shot cord here so I can tuck my uh, two outerwear layers there. It's got two big uh, pockets on the side, water bottle pockets. So on the outside, I've got my hand sanitizer, my shell. Um, I've got a bunch of little carabiners and safety pins on the outside because you never know when you're going to need those. And then over on the back side, I've got this uh, little REI hand towel. I love to have this right up front while I'm hiking because it can wipe away sweat. It can clean my glasses. I can dunk it in water and cool myself off. It's just awesome and lightweight. Um, and then my uh, little cords with uh, cord stoppers so that I can attach my sun slash rain umbrella and use it hands free. And then I've also got this uh, Bezu personal safety alarm. Uh, if you pull down on this little plug, it makes the loudest noise you've ever heard in your life. So since I am um, hiking alone, um, I wanted to just bring uh, a little safety element so that is my backpack. So let me take you over and show you the rest of my stuff. So I'm gonna start with what I'm actually going to wear hiking on most days. I have this Columbia SPF 50 super lightweight long sleeve sun shirt. I think it's called Omni Dry or Omni Shade. Um, a pair of Njinji toe snot toe socks toe socks um, I like the kind that has like 50 or 60 percent of the new wool it's just the most comfortable for me um, a pair of ex officio underwear you can tell these have been around <laughs> um, one old navy soft-sided sports bra I take the um, padding out of these because you don't need them one pair of old La old navy active dry go dry leggings these are my favorite leggings of all time i have a soft mesh case with my sunglasses in here they are prescription so i need to keep them protected and safe i have my alaska buff and then a light merino wool buff i always like to hike with two buffs because this can be a warm layer while this still can protect my neck um, and then i have for my nighttime slash if my shoes are killing me uh, sandals i have my zero i think these are z trail uh, shoes i love these they weigh practically nothing and i have a little dry bag that they go in i've got my little patagonia uh, waist pack fanny pack so that i'm gonna wear every day and i'm gonna put my phone in there and uh you know my own money and little odds and ends and then my shoes that I'm gonna be walking in are the Ultra Olympus. These have lots of cushion. Um, I have the soft sole insert. I have the um, regular arch on my right, on my left foot and the high arch on my right foot because I have different level arches on my feet. This is the outdoor gear section. I have this North Face rain wind jacket. This is very light proof. Also, it has full pit zips, which I love. And then I'm bringing this lightweight um, Old Navy fleece. It's got the thumb, whoops. Um, sorry, Jackson, you're not going on the trip with me. It's got the uh, thumb holes. I really love this thing. I debated bringing it or not, but I do get cold easily and it's basically my the only long sleeve layer i'm gonna have besides this and my columbia shirt i've got my wataga hiking uh poles with duct tape wrapped around and i just put some brand new uh lecky rubber tips on there i've got my ultra lightweight sun umbrella i'm not bringing a poncho i'm bringing a two ounce rain skirt love this thing and then i am bringing the thermarest um 
ZC. This thing only weighs two ounces, but I use it a lot. I use it to do yoga, to stretch, to sit. It just attaches to the back, to the outside of my pack, and it's worth the two ounces. Moving over to clothes that I'm bringing with me, actually in my bag, um, I've got another pair of ex officio underwear and then one pair of Patagonia underwear, so three pairs of underwear total, one more Old Navy sports bra. I've got a really comfortable, lightweight cotton dress that goes about to my knees for evening. I've got a short sleeve active wear, uh, quick dry shirt. Uh, a pair of shorts, prana shorts that are also quick dry, and one more pair of those old na old navy leggings. And then I've got a second pair of Njinji for hiking and a pair of darn tough for the evening and or if it's cold because these are warmer um, and to sleep in, walk around, albergues in. I also have these laundry sheets already cut up, ready to go, and a little uh, Sea to Summit dry sack for my clothes. And coming over here to the rest of my gear, I've got the Epic Water Bottle with Filter. I like to travel and even just in my day-to-day -day life filter my water. I'm really sensitive to tap water even at home, so that's a must for me. I've got an extra platypus liter, and I debated bringing this, but it is ultra lightweight. And the first few days I looked at the forecast are going to be in the 90s, so I'm going to need... I'm gonna need all this water. And then a life water bottle. This thing practically weighs nothing. I will just refill it. Um, over here, I've got a little coin purse um, and a little um, wallet that's got my debit card, my credit card. It is. Um, it does have the protector on it, so if people have those scanners, I can't remember what it's called, like RFID protected or something, um, then people won't be able to grab my uh, card info, and then I will also keep Euros, um, coin, and paper in here. I've got a plastic bag that's got my passport, my um, pilgrim credentials, and then also some uh, train tickets for when I first arrive in London and Biarritz. I've made two copies of my passport. One copy is in my waist pack and one is in my backpack. Always travel with copies of your passport. For my toiletries, I've got this soft little, it's almost like a produce bag. Um, I've got a little brush with hair things, um, little ear cleaners and flossers. I've got this tiny little razor, isn't that so cute? A little toothbrush that I took the end off of. Nail clippers. Uh, two pairs of plain earplugs because I do have sensitive ears and I need to equalize the pressure. Sorry, I'm just sitting down. Um, and then two pairs of the MAC silicone earplugs. I've got four tampons and four little panty liners. Um, over here, I have a bar of ivory soap and wax paper. And then I've got a chunk of uh, Smith natural deodorant also in wax paper. Um, and then some extra wax paper. I've got a black sarong, which I'm going to be using as a scarf, as a towel, as an extra layer, as a privacy curtain. It's really lightweight and awesome. Extra Ziploc bags. I've got this tiny little lightweight pocket knife. A rock for Cruz de Ferro that I picked out of my garden the other day. Well, not my garden, around my neighborhood. Um, all my medicine over here. So I have to take a lot of supplements daily. In fact, I've cut this down quite a bit. Um, I had Bell's palsy a couple of months ago. I'm still recovering from it, and I also have chronic migraines, vestibular issues, all sorts of stuff going on. So I have to have my supplements. Um, I'm not even bringing half of what I typically take, but these are my daily supplements. They're pretty lightweight. And then over here, I've got uh, glucosamine chondroitin for my joints, since I'm gonna be walking a lot, and some um, trace mineral tabs for replacing electrolytes. This is kind of heavy, but it will get lighter as we go. And then I've got um, just some medicine for day-to-day -day stuff. I've got some anti-nausea medicine, motion sickness medicine, um, anti-diarrheal, got some arnica in there, some antihistamine, um, some natural pain remedy, curamin, Tylenol, a little bit of ibuprofen, although it bothers my stomach, and then this little um, tiger ball to massage out my feet and legs and hips at the end of the day. And then over here is my first aid kit. I've got some KT tape, lamb's wool, uh, little things like Neosporin and cleaners. I've got some more safety pins in here. Um, I've got, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have a pen that's got Leuco tape on it. I've got a little super glue in here. 
um, yeah, stuff like that. Um, over here, this is a tiny little lightweight tote bag that I'm going to bring for evenings. I love this thing. Um, this is another little dry bag that I'm going to bring for food. And then inside, I have my spork. I know some people say, I never use my spork. I like to have yogurt, and I plan on uh, using it for that. Um, okay. Uh, toiletries that are liquid. I've got toothpaste. Uh, this is Tiger Balm. Shampoo conditioner in one, a little thing of uh, lotion and sunscreen. I've got a little bag with toilet paper. I've got a ultralight pillow. I know also not a thing I absolutely need, but I really need this to keep my spine in alignment and about six months ago I was having a lot of trouble with acid reflux and I just need to be sort of propped up. So one pillow at the albergue is not gonna be enough for me and it's super lightweight. Um, my down, um, blanket that I put snaps on to turn into a sleep sack. Uh, that's going with me. These are, I don't know what this is, just an extra bungee cord. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I don't know where, how that ended up in here. And then finally, electronics. I got my little gecko pod, um, selfie stick. I know these are not necessary and they're a luxury, but because I am going to be vlogging and taking pictures, I like to have them. It's worth the wait for me. I've got a little anchor for USB uh, charger so that I can share with other people and it's also got the super fast charger on the top I've got an anchor 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank I debated this one or the bigger one I'm going with this size I've got a tiny little cord to charge that a very long soft-sided cord to charge my phone because I have read that having um, this is 10 feet I think having a long cord in the albergue is just really useful because then you're you can you know reach all the way over to your bed or wherever you're sitting I've got this tiny little adapter and USB-C headphones and then again a little produce bag for all of that so that is all my gear let me pack everything up and weigh it and I'll I'll come back in a second so I got my pack fully loaded and it's about 15 pounds, which is pretty good. Um, it's gonna get lighter as I take all of those supplements, but I wanted to also share with you that I'm gonna put my poles and my umbrella and my pocket knife in this mailing tube. I think I'm gonna put some rope around it and make a little handle uh, and check on the plane because I can't carry those on the plane. So I am ready to go. I will see you all on the trail.